Well, welcome back to another episode. This week, we head inland, shaking down our new caravan along the Wheat Belt Way. This was a region we weren't expecting a lot from, but it certainly tickled our fancy. Oh, big boy! <laughs> I don't know, it's just a shit show. Well, welcome to another episode, everyone. Welcome, we are back. I know. We are happy, we are ready to go. We're traveling again in, um, we've got to name this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, we're traveling in the new caravan. This is its shakedown trip, and we've come out to Dowron. Dowen. Dowen. I Darren. think we've got that right. <laughs> <laughs> the Wheat Belt Way. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we've, we've thought it's Easter time, it's the school holidays, long weekend. We're getting away from the crowds along the coast in the southwest. We've come inland and um, we've had a few days before this that didn't all go to plan. No. Had a, it did. Had a few little dramas. Anyway, we'll play some of those clips um, now. Ty's had a good old screw. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good one either. <laughs> It's even going in on the angle. How amazing is this horse? It's all like done out of wire. What are you doing, big boy? <laughs> Leveling her up, hey. Don't look near me. We will show you around this new van <laughs> once we uh, get our crap together, but <laughs> we still don't know how to use it, to be honest. We're just working out all the airbags and everything inside. But um, this is us for tonight. This is Swan Hill Farm and there is so many animals apparently. We've literally just got here so we'll um, set up and then we'll take you guys around. Oh, big boy! <laughs> I really wanted like a front window so this is one of my little things when we're doing the new caravan. Oh, big fella, look at that! Look at that breeze coming through. Swan Hill Farm is run by Karen, a donation camp with all the proceeds going to charity or feed for the injured animals she takes in. It was the perfect spot for the boys to run wild and take in some awesome sunsets. Good morning. They have a heap of animals out the back, so um, we haven't seen them yet. No. So we're off to see them this morning and feed baby lambs. Every morning when we were there, Karen was up at 7.30 to take the kids to feed all the animals. Nick, Nick, do you want some bacon? Oh man, well, Andy, <laughs> Finley even had a go at trying to catch some pigs, but they were just a little bit quick for him at the moment. today and um, we had a little hiccup haven't we? Well the truck's flat and I don't know if this is too, I don't know, it's just a show. We've got 30% on this so. Will it jump it? I don't know. <laughs> You're in a bit of a cranky mood today big boy. I am, very cranky a Very mood. foul mood. So when the truck didn't start made it even worse. All right, I'll jump in, Nikki. All right, kick in the guts. <laughs> Nothing at all. Like, no even lights coming on. Oh, dear. So, I don't know how many hours later. <laughs> probably about three hours later, we actually thought we'd get out of camp on time to not, uh, today, but... It hasn't happened, has it, big fella? No, it hasn't happened. 
We're just uh, waiting for the um, batteries to charge on the truck. Because our little um, jump starter is also not charged. <laughs> and um, it's taking forever to charge, so. Yeah. So yeah, we are back on the road and yeah, we finally christened. Yes. The new van, she's pretty dirty already. <laughs> I know, that was only literally, and we didn't even film any of the first christening. Anyway. No. <laughs> anyway, that's it. From here, we're going to start the Wheatbelt Way and probably link up with the gold fields. Um, and then by that time, the sh school holiday should be open and we'll be heading down south. Over. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're going to take it cruisy. We're going to um, see what works and doesn't work with this van and we'll tell you all what doesn't work. We'll keep it all open and transparent. Yep. But um, let's go. As far as the eye can see in the Wheatbelt, it's crop after crop. And nestled between all those crops is a heap of free camps, history and different things to do. We start on the western end of the wheat belt before heading north, then heading east into the gold fields. What you doing big fella? Well, I put a transfer diesel pump um, on a new tank over the other side. The petrol bowser is over there, so I'm filling that tank. It should be transferring into this tank. Is it working? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Nick's filling the tank. I've been pigging out. But I think it's working. Is it working, Nick? Yeah, buddy, oh, it's just done. Look at that. Filled one tank from this one. <laughs> These things are the bee's knees. That's fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big boy. <laughs> You wanted a bite of my sausage, did you? See if she's any good. The coating's a bit tough. A bit chewy. It's a bit oily. <laughs> Give me your sausage back. <laughs> After both trying out some local sausage, a quick lap of town was in order and we're off. <laughs> Want some more sausage? <laughs> okay. Have I got something on my face? No. No, there's no sausage on your face, no. <laughs> Never sausage on my face. <laughs> You're funny. That was good, eh? Just uh -huh. photo bombed you. Video bomb. This is a well. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> She's got nothing. It's dry well. Well, we've seen that well. one. <laughs> yeah, well, we've seen that. <laughs> so as we keep moving on, it is, it is the wrong time of year to sort of do this. Like, um, they haven't had rain out here. Normally winter times when they get their rain, everything's green, obviously all the rivers and- Wildflowers. Wildflowers and all that. So we're probably attacking this at the wrong time of year. <laughs> oh well. I think we are. Let's move on though. Our first camp for the wheat belt was just an hour down the road which we found on the app you can download, giving you points of interest the whole way along the road trip. Well, we've come to our first camping destination. This is called Marshall Rock. And you might just be thinking this is just a rock, but for the last couple of hours that we've driven, have just been flat cropping fields. Funny things, you get excited about a rock these days. Yeah, but it's actually pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, the pretty... views are awesome. You got like 360 degree views as far as the eye can see. And um, there's a campsite down there. Well, we sort of are in the campsite. What do you reckon? Camp up here for the night? Well, there's fire pits and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if we can camp up here. Um, and if not, We'll go down there, but I reckon dinner maybe tonight up here. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. A bit of further investigation, we found you couldn't camp on top of the rock, so back down we go to set up camp. Big boys around! <laughs> Seriously, we got to film the caravan on its first little off roady sort of section. We'll have plenty more to come. It actually looks good, dirty. I hate clean caravans. You tell it. <laughs> so we've come back down and we found a camp spot. There's um, picnic tables, there's bins, there's fire pits, and there's toilets. Sorry, <laughs> I just 
I just realised I've been messing and I'm like hanging these out. But um, this is our trusty washing line that we've had for years and years. We've tried like nearly everything on the market, hey, and like this, you just can't beat a good old rope <laughs> tied to the van and car. <laughs> anyway, I think the plan is hang me washing out, do a bit of cleaning in the van. The boys have been ferals, let them have a run around. And then this afternoon, I might even do my cooking app that we can actually take dinner onto the rock. So um, stay with us. Have a go at this. Have you ever seen anyone do this to car windows? <laughs> you can't really see. <laughs> what are you doing? I said love you. No, you didn't. You stuck the finger up at me, Lenya. Never. Ooh, <laughs> hey. How long will this last? Oh, dunno. <laughs> it's Finny side, so probably not that long. Anyway, see ya. Should do yours. Oi. <laughs> Oi. What are you doing? So after all the jobs were done and some of the energy was zapped from the kids, we had a dinner date booked at the top of Mount Marshall. Finny. Nui. Hallelulu. Are you boys hungry? <laughs> How did mummy go, boys? Good, good. Out of ten? Uh huh. What's out of ten? Oh. Ten out of four. <laughs> well, isn't this amazing? I'm so glad we did this. Nick's just getting a beer or a drink. And um, yeah, we're gonna sit here, have some dinner, and just take in like the peace, hopefully, <laughs> the peace. And we're just free. There is no one around, no one at camp, no one up here. And it is just amazing, amazing. Oh, you're getting on it, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Got in a, in a spot like this. It's amazing, eh? Look at big hey. girl Sue's back there. Sitting there pretty. No, <laughs> oh, no. She's loving it. She's loving it. Okay. Yeah. Where's that dinner, Linda? This one, dude. I know. Oh, you love a good jack and potato. Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I reckon we. Thanks, mate. Should we rate, mummy? <laughs> mm. Me and Daddy, <laughs> Dad. No, you do do a pretty good job on a jack and potato, Linda. Thank you. Now we're going to have a good long one. Well, it won't be long before the sun dips down. It doesn't take long to go down. And then uh, we've got prime position. No one for kilometres. Couldn't ask for a better first night along the wheat belt, if you ask us. Dinner with the family. <laughs> Overlooking fields as far as you can see, just as the sun sneaks behind the horizon. And just like that, the sun's gone for another day. I love this little light. I love this little light. <laughs> morning. We are uh, all on our lonesome last night. Well, we thought so. We, um, we've been having troubles with something eating the rubbers on the canopy. And um, last night we put some cheese out in a GoPro and uh, we caught the culprit in the act. We've been carrying a little mouse and I think it's from that farm stay earlier on because I left this wing open. So today, uh, we've got a few things to see this morning and then we're gonna go to the next town and grab a mouse trap, I think. Well, hopefully they have one. We've got a clean on, don't we? We sure do. <laughs> oh, get out, Aggie. We've got three or four clean ones, actually. I know. They're all, they're all out there eating breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> on the table.
We're gonna catch that um, mouth, aren't we? Then what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna deal with it humanely. <laughs> Just up from camp, literally five minutes on an unsealed road was something we have never seen before. And it was actually Nick's highlight of the trip. So these are the sheep yards, it's pretty cool. They're, they're just built with slabs of granite. And boys, you wanna know how they got these slabs back in the day? Well, they, no? Yeah, I want to know. You don't want to know? Well, they hit, they started a fire on top of, the, the hills were somewhere around here. They started a fire on top of the granite and then they quickly poured water over to cool it and it cracked right. it into slabs. Ah. And they brought it here and made these sheep yards. And how did they get it in, just like? Horse and cart. Oh. Horse and cart it in and made these. It looks like a homestead, there might have been a homestead over there and a few other things, but I don't know, it just goes like back in the day. Oh, like, we are so lucky, hey? I know, we just sit in an air conditioned cab and um, complain about a few corrugations <laughs> when these guys are, you know, they're carrying big slabs of granite and <laughs> we're, um, we're pretty weak these days, aren't we? They breed them weak. <laughs> yeah. Our boys will never have to crack granite like these guys did. We might have to. <laughs> yeah. Tough on the line. I know. <laughs> Go sheepies! Go sheepies! Oh, the sheep sheepies stopped. Go sheepies! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, stop it! This is where they would have stopped them. And then what they do. Come through a little bit, Lennox. <laughs> Come through, stop there, and then they'd grab them like this, and then <laughs> they'd neuter them. So they'd grab old Tessie and then slice Ooh. and oh, yeah. there's probably a few nuts here somewhere. All Ooh. right, you're done. You through. <laughs> oh, now you've got no nuts, boys. <laughs> Should we do you, big boy? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Don't need them anymore. Even going to church back then, you know, they had to take their horse and cart and it was like, you know, one or two night trip and they slept under the cart overnight along the way. <laughs> Imagine telling people that to go to church now. Yeah, you just got to, it'll be a two day journey and you got to sleep in the cart on the ground on the way there. So we've just come into the town of Ben Coven and um, decided to, um, buy something from here so we're having a cuppa oh and yeah we found a mouse trap the mouse has limited time left in our canopy <laughs> do put set it up and nah, put hand in it they had a little one of these that i did that and it nearly took my finger off so i'm not doing that it'll chop the mouse in half so we'll have our cuppa then we'll um find camp or find something else to look at <laughs> Yes, yeah. but it is good to support the um, small Can towns out here. Them, I'm sure they would appreciate it. We did buy cuppers, but we also bought like new spoons. And because now we're induction, um, we had we forgot to buy like all plastic stuff for our pans and all that because they're all brand new. <laughs> so we better look after them. And then I got fly spotters because there is so many flies out here. Last night I was just in the van just swatting flies with undies. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's undies. We should have filmed that. That'd I be know. Cool. We should have. Your <laughs> undies are getting a use to like this episode. I, know. I reckon. I know. I'm going to put my undies on. There'll be fly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll have this, and then we'll go and find something else. Hey, boys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Get up, huh? <laughs> next campsite is Billy Burning Rock. It's at the most northern point of the Wheat Belt Way and it's a pretty easy drive. Mostly tar road with the last 15 kilometres to camp turning into gravel.
Oh, the van had a little tickle. What's the plan? Um, sit here and look at this rock. <laughs> <laughs> and the boys have got their bikes out, so we cruise up and down. And then maybe we can go for a walk at the top of the rock. Little Finley has been so close to riding a big boy bike at the moment, and this go was the Finley. perfect place go for him Finley. to practice with nothing to crash into. Good job, Min! Go Look, go, Min! Use go your feet! Use your feet! Stay this way, it's okay, it's alright! It's alright! Pedal, 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 pedal! Good boy, Min! Go, go Min! Yes, 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 the joys of having a new van. I sort of wanted a shell in that in my little cupboard, and I've got the boys onto it. Hey, <laughs> no rest for the wicked, hey Nick? Yeah, we just missed it. Um, so this whole thing is just a hanging rail. So I'm just putting a shelf in. And I do not hang clothes. <laughs> and the boys are helping, aren't we? Yeah. All right, you draw that line. Yep. Yeah. That's it. All against the against the straight edge. Now you draw, no, no, on this side. I'll show you, you go like this. Oh, oh hee -hee. Mr. Right, hold on, no, no, Finn, no, no, whoa! All right, against the, against the straight edge. No, 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 no. I'm not, don't think you quite get what I'm putting down there, Finn, ready? With this hand? Yep. Whichever hand you hold with. This one? Right, yeah, like this, and go like this. It's hard, eh? Yeah. I Ready, you want a hand? Mm -hmm. We don't need a hand. It's your foot. Welcome to Elenia's Gourmet Cooking. Alright, well, today I'm actually going to attempt kale chips. We've got a sad looking bush here, so we're going to give it a little go. So first up, you've got to cut these off its stems apparently. So we're going to do the whole bush. Actually that's a lot. Nick's not the biggest fan of um, kale. But now it's oil time. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the oven she goes. Happy cooking. Oh, I think there might be a bit of smoke coming off some of them. That was not long at all. Oh no. Oh. That looks Fair. black. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Get the other ones in. That's what they're supposed to look like. Oh, chips! Oh, no! no. <laughs> the chips! No. Oh, no! Quick! Quick, eat the chips, boys! Oh, shit. Oh. Eat the chippies. Taste them. Quick, taste the chips while they're still there. Yes! Ollie's going to taste you. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. What do you reckon? Any good, boys? Yeah. You like kale chips? Quick, cover the chips. <laughs> Go big fella. Alright. Yeah. I think cow is pretty hard to do. <laughs> but. Mm, eight. Eight? Alright. Well, there's a few burnt ones on the bottom. I've noticed mum's put them on the bottom, boys, not the top. Oi! I'm going to give you a seven. Woohoo! <laughs> Like and I, I don't really like kale, them. but they're, that's pretty good. That's pretty stomachable. <laughs> stomachable. <laughs> well, Ollie's been simbined. He's um, he's tired. Elena's sorting him out. But the older two boys and I, we're going for a walk up the rock that we're camped next to, and um, to have a look at the 360 degree views, much like the rock we're at last night, and um, to wear a little bit of more out of the boys. Boys, this way I think, you're going the wrong way. 
<laughs> Too eager. You need a hand? No, no. No, no. You've got it? Go. Oh. Far as you can see in every direction. And um, the sun going down. The caravan's just down there behind us. I don't know if you can see. I don't know why this spot's so cool. There's no one about. There's one person next to us, and that's the first person we've camped with in like three or four days. And this is school holidays, Easter time. But um, anyway, that sun's going to disappear shortly. These kids are going to go to bed. And, um, we'll get the computers out, I guess. Another day of exploring on the cards today. We did set a trap for our little mice friend that's hitching a ride, but he outsmarted us last night, so he gets to live just one more day. Well, just down the road, we've come to Bering Booting Rock. <laughs> now, this rock has the largest water catchment um, and holding tank in Australia for rocks. And it's the same, a little bit the same as like the wave rock around like Kaiden. This wall catches all the water and goes into that big holding tank behind us and that can hold over 2 million gallons of water. Two million and water or something, I don't know. Yeah. It's huge. <laughs> And there's a few, there's a walk you can do around it and um... You can actually camp here too. Yeah, actually it's a pretty cool campsite. Um, free camp or donation. And some fun facts about the tank, I was just reading down there. It was built by a hundred men back in the depression and it took them two years to build and they built that well. Did they build it with um, like a wheelbarrow? Yeah, cement in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, no concrete truck. <laughs> all um, all hand mixed, that's pretty cool and it's still standing today. So, this just cool. shows me like this whole wee belt way just shows how lazy we are <laughs> as people nowadays. Yeah, I know. <laughs> or oh, some people call it smart. I don't know, if you told someone it's going to take them two years to build that tank and they've got to mix it all by hand, I don't think you'd have many takers. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. been set up. There's so many flies, Ollie's had a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Go, boy! Go, boy! Go, boy! Go, boy! Oh, lucky! <laughs> That's me. Put it back in place, boys. Oh, oh, Lenya! Look at you. You must be stanky. No, look. Wait, stop! Look at all them. It's Ollie. I don't know if it's Ollie. They're on you. Nick, don't <laughs> look at your hat. They're covered in your hat. Back on the road and headed to our favourite camp of the week though. It took us a little bit by surprise how much there is actually to do in this region. And this also took us by surprise. Oh, is it actually broken? Poor droney. Did you actually break it? I don't know. Oh, look at him. Know, what did you do to him? I think... Just, I don't know, just flying and then the sensors had a moment. Were yeah, you in sport, No, mind? it's not. Look, it's MP. Well, I, I might, yeah, see, the, the wings are gone. That, do you know, that is the first time ever crashed any drone in six years of travelling. But I think we might be alright. I might go and get two more wings. Put it back up there. And see, see if it works again. Well, so just let me get two more wings. Why don't you like get away from under this tree? <laughs> I think... I think we may have got away with it. Yes, Jody. I think we may have. Yeah. 
Yes, we've got away with it, but I'm putting it away now. <laughs> so there's Monty's Pass or Rock Wave first. I think they call it the Rainbow Wave. And I've heard it's a bit like the good old hide and um, wave rock. So um, we'll see which one's better. What? What? Wow. Pretty cool, eh? A few different colours in that. Wow, it's so cool. It's huge. I've always wondered why spots like Wave Rocket Hyde and get so popular and these spots get missed. Been a surfer at home. <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. Get it, Sam. Lily. Get Ollie, get it. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Woo! Surf it all. Surf Woo! it. It's the first tanty we've had in a while. Vinny, you've been going alright for a while, mate. He's fallen, Daddy. Look at his oh, owie. Oh, you got an owie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we do this cave then? Whoa! You gonna get a good booty shot here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. You going, little fella, or what? <laughs> oh! Good up, skirt. Well, lucky they're not short. <laughs> not short shorts. <laughs> well, shorter than short. <laughs> I think you all went the hard way. What's wrong with him? Oh, wow, look how cool it is. That is cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Mommy, I just put the light on. <laughs> did, you, did you say, did you say put the light on? Yeah. Mommy, what did you say? You want me to turn the light on? Give me a second, I'll just buy a switch. As you can see the light, where this like pain's just resting there. That is so cool. So I see that's just falling off that rock. It's pretty scary when you actually start thinking that this is falling off the rock up there. Yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> sort of makes you like, like my claustrophobia is starting to think like, if it moves or shifts, like we're in trouble. I think if it moves, we're all born, Dale, so you can have you can sleep well at night knowing that we'll all be going together. <laughs> we won't be sleeping, we'll be captured. Just two kilometres around the other side of the rock is camp, where you can set up right next to it with no one else in sight. You got him, big well, fella. Yeah, we got him. I um, I feel a little bit bad now, but better than all our electrics going. He, he didn't stand a chance, had three traps out. And he got the first one. He got the first one. He came, this is where he came out the other day. And then he ate the cheese in the big one yesterday and now we've nailed him with the small traps. Mess with us and our canopy mouse. Oh. Hang him up in the tree, that'd be a lesson to the rest of them. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no, big boy! <laughs> well, you see a bit of Andy there. <laughs> Thinks it's time for the bin. No, we'll get a couple more months out of this. Mercy. <laughs> and oh. Stop it. You <laughs> chopped that wood. <laughs> uh, I should take these off. It is Friday, yeah, doll? Oh, God. Oh my goodness, are you finding little sticks? Huh? Are you finding little sticks? <laughs> Where? Oh. Uh. Yes, good boy. Alright, while we're sitting here waiting for the fire to go down so we can cook on it, we're going to run down through what's broken, well not broken, but was wrong with this van, because it is a shakedown trip. Not many people put stuff about things that are broken or not right on these, so I'm going to keep it all transparent. The water system, We've finally found a, um, it was drawing air. We've had this van for about two weeks now and we've only just found it in the last um, one or two days. It was a little O-ring on one of the brass manifolds 
it sort of folded over on itself and it was sort of just sealing but enough for air to come through the lines um, and we ripped the whole caravan apart plumbing apart to try and find it um, but yeah so that was one thing the sliding door that shuts off the boys and our sort of bedrooms just need a little bit of a tickle up a little bit of adjustment um, the windows, one of the um, windows, the blind sort of internal thing just kept popping off. So um, Vacation are sorting that out for us. They're um, sending a few new window surrounds. We broke something. The no, oh, I'm gonna say <laughs> we, but I, it wasn't me. Me. <laughs> broke the inside, the cowling on the top of the door. Um, got ripped off. <laughs> that was our fault. Um, can you think of anything else, Stel? Uh, no, not really. No, that's sort of all that um, has happened to date, which is pretty good. All sort of things we've been able to fix and work out ourselves. Um, yeah, that battery system in this we're pretty impressed with. We're pretty impressed with it. Um, we will do a walk around soon, but um, yeah, that's what's sort of broken or wasn't right for our little shakedown trip we're calling it. Anyway, we are stoked to have a fire. We are stoked to be cooking on the fire. Yeah, you gotta watch it out here when you fire season, when you're allowed to fire. Yeah, but it's it's good tonight. It's not blowy, which like is unheard of for WA, no. isn't it? How's this spot? It's bloody beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Don't let mum teach you any bad habits. I'm a good cook, isn't she? Finny, they're gonna go across. Yeah, that's it. Good work. Oh no! Oh, quick, get it! Dad. Oh. oh, get in there. Look at that. That'll be right. I can have that one. Oh. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Well, while we're cooking these sausages, I thought I'd just say a bit about the wheat belt way, and it was awesome. We actually didn't know what to expect from it, to be honest. We sort of didn't really plan too much and we just went with the flow. Um, so many free camps. There's also so many like caravan parks, they call them. About 30 bucks per pound water, some are cheaper. Um, super easy to book. And yeah, I, like I found it. The towns are super cool. Everyone, every different one was unique in its own little way. Um, but some of these free camps we've been to were amazing. Like it was just, what we needed, not many people around, just your simple like inland stuff. And yeah, we had the best time. So I'd probably like, I'd probably do it again, to be honest. What about you, big fella? Yeah, well, I reckon you need to turn those sausages. Why? Because Mom, I reckon they'd be. No. <laughs> I'll, just, just, oh, don't I'll just, I'll butt butt in. In. <laughs> Don't butt in. Yeah, I'll butt, uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, it, some of the rocks we were camping next to were like oh, pretty good. good. I don't know, it was unexpected and it's just like a massive chill out and you can do it in a four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, anything, the roads were good. Yeah, easy, accessible, like, it sounds really funny to say, but like, no, there was lots of rocks in the middle of like nothing. Nowhere. But it was actually really cool. Yeah, the ultimate chill out. Anyway, Wheat Belt Way gives a thumbs up for us. Yes. Anyway, we are off the Wheat Belt Way now and we're at this awesome lake. So you'll have to tune in next week to see where we are because this is a pretty cool spot. Yeah, it is very and cool. And it's free. <laughs> you can't get much better than that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate your support and a massive shout out to our Patreons. Um, you guys are awesome and we love our little Patreon family. But um, yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Definitely. Yep, we'll see you on the next. Oh, no. No. Lennox. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. No, more sausage. Well, that about wraps this episode up for this week. There are a few more sausages enter the fire as the boys were flipping. But this amazing camp was the last of our Wheat Belt Way adventure. We thoroughly enjoyed our time out here and was completely unexpected. The history, the camping and lack of crowds really appealed to us. Thanks for watching guys and we hope to see you back here next week.